been a while since I put up a video. I put some Star Citizen stuff up um, a couple days ago. I'm having a blast with that, uh, even though it's really not in alpha beta right now. Um, you can still play the Arena Commander, which has a few different modes. They're all pretty fun. You can get uh, the REC, which is like the uh, rental money that you can use. So you can kind of uh, customize your ships and, and whatnot. But that's not the real thing that I'm actually making this video for. I actually have came in the mail finally. One of the things I bought. I'm looking for Kingdom Death coming. Kingdom Death Monster coming. I'll make a video of that unboxing. But right now I have um, Super Dungeon Explorer uh, Forgotten King. Finally came in the mail. This thing's pretty heavy, so I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not using my camera because my camera is is not as good quality as the uh, new uh, HD webcam that I have right going on right now. So that's why I'm doing it kind of on my computer right now. I haven't really done that before. Well, I have on my old laptop, but uh, the quality wasn't that great. So I'm gonna. Give it a cut, cut it open. This is a true unboxing because I haven't even opened this, and sometimes I kind of don't do a true unboxing. It's not a big deal. Um, oh, nice. So um, I did come kind of go into the second option. The first one I didn't know they actually were actually were making the uh, Kingdom Death Forgotten King, uh, Forgotten King Kickstarter. I I tend to not really do the Kickstarters until uh, someone's like, hey, did you see this Kickstarter? It's pretty cool, and then I kind of go, okay, let's see it is. See, see what it is, and then I go into it, and it's like, oh, damn, this is really cool, but I can't do the Kickstarter because it's already over. That sucks for me. Um, in this case, they reopened it. Uh, Soda Pop Miniatures reopened it on their website, and I kind of got in there real quick. Um, so let's see. Inside the box. Oh, man, this is heavy. We have... Oh, it's reflecting off my awesome screen. We've got um, Super Dungeon Explorer. Forgotten King, great uh, that anime chibi art style going on. Back, I'll open up these two. It's very heavy. I mean, this is a, this net weight is ten pounds, but it comes with the other um, the uh, Boo Booty box. I think it's called. Oh, no, this is not the Boo Booty one, but it was called. Oh no, it is. It is. It is. Just didn't look like it. It is the Boo Booty Treasure Chest box. I think it comes all the uh, extra special goodies that um, that you get with the Super Pledge. Um, I believe it's some extra tokens, uh, some like plastic uh, stand-up heart and potion tokens for your characters. Uh, the reason why I really wanted to get this was Super Dungeon Explorers are actually really fun. Um, arcade, 8-bit, 16-bit style Nintendo type Link maybe you might think of Link or uh, Legend of Zelda type you know uh, kind of uh, hex game um, and this is like a board game style of that so uh, it's really fun um, the original Super Dungeon Explorer is not co-op uh, you need a, a console a GM or someone to be the bad guy um, so you can't really play with uh, friends in the cooperative sense of everyone's together on this adventure. Someone kind of has to be the console, the bad guy. Uh, in this one, they have an arcade mode, which will allow everyone to be the good guy. Um, at least that's what it says. I have not read the rules. Um, let me back up even more. All right, so I took that wrapper off, taking the lid off of the uh, original one. Super, uh, Super Dungeon Explorer Forgotten King. So we got some quick rules, which is uh, did not come with the original Super Dungeon Explorer, which is really cool. Um, this is um, game set up for just Super Dungeon Explorer Classic mode. And this has an arcade mode um, kind of with an X on it. So I'm, I'm assuming this is just the Classic mode rundown for Quick Start. Okay, so the art's really cool. That old, you know, like that chibi style anime kind of artwork to it. i focus there real quick. Um, so quick start rules. Then we have the classic mode. This looks like the exact same 
rules for the classic mode for Super Dungeon Explorer. It's the same art, same same exact art. Um, probably with all the uh, FAQ and all the updates that didn't really go on the original one. Um, looks like looks like just like an updated version. It's got some new art. So it's not the same, but it looks like this is just the classic mode um, rehash and all the stat effects on the back is good as well. Good thing about these cards and stuff like that is on the back of your card or an effect, it, it will tell you what it does. So sometimes you might be like, oh, I'm burning. I don't know what that does. It, there'll usually be a dungeon effect that kind of tells you what burning is. And you're just kind of like, okay. Here we go. This is what I really wanted to read. The arcade mode. And it's pretty thick. That book was thick as well. Looks good. Some some nice art as well. That chibi style. This is this is the co-op one, or so it's supposed to be. So I'm assuming there's like an AI deck or an AI commands that kind of tell you what to do. Kind of like if you played Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, board game. The card usually gives you two basic um, AI tactics. It's kind of like uh, if you're next to it, then it'll attack you. If you're far away or something, it will go to the nearest or do X, Y, and Z. Sort of like that. Kingdom Death Monster will have an AI deck, um, uh, which is pretty cool. I like that idea. Uh, it, uh, it's really interesting. Uh, it's not just that it's random in that AI deck and it's also its health I believe so you might think that you might be safe going behind the monster and attacking it but the card that AI might be turned to the neck the person that just did damage to you or turn to the character that just attacked you and then do damage so you might feel like oh I'm gonna flank it from behind do some extra damage but you're really not because that monster might attack you anyway this is Explorer's Handbook I don't know what that is uh, doo -doo -doo. Maybe some fluff. Some finally got some fluff for this game. It looks like it. Definitely want to read this again. The art's pretty cool. You have the uh, ah, you have uh, the characters there. That kind of that Princess Peach type character. I have not played that character. I'm not very interested in that character. But uh, whoever wants to can play it. Then you have the classic characters. Um, have not seen the gnome or the Freyan, 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 however you want to pronounce that. Freyan doesn't say the Y, J's Y. I don't know. This is cool. It's a fluff book. I would like to read that. It's great. That one's pretty thick as well. And I guess their next Kickstarter is going to be Ninja. It's kind of the same, except but there's Ninja Clans and you battle Ninja Clans. Not too interested in that one. Ooh, this is probably what's giving a lot of weight. That's pretty thick. So you can kind of see here a couple of different cardboards with a lot of tokens. You get the boards in there, which are double sided. Um, I believe there is uh, creep or spawns in, in arcade mode as well. So not just the monsters, but there are spawn points that monsters can pop out of. This box is still heavy. All right, so we have deck here. This looks like this looks like the treasure deck because I believe it's red, which is like the top slot of a character, which is the treasure. It looks like there's some bad guys. It says rabid squirrels on it. So that's one deck. Here's some more treasure cards. Again, the treasure ones are like the uh, ones you get out of like treasure chests, the big good loot. And then looks like a blue slot, fizzy beverage, plus one gray tack, which is pretty cool. Plus one button. It's uh, very game-like. So you have a D-pad, which represents your movement. And then you have a button, which represents your attacks or actions you can take. So we have, this looks like actually the Forgotten King. My camera wants to focus not on my face and on the card. Anyway, this is the Forgotten King. It's not going to focus, but bad guy. Cool. 
and then you have some more loot. Blue is just like normal loot from bad guys. Pretty cool. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. This is what the little things in games that make the game a little special. You might not think about it, but extra bags to have tokens and dice in, that's like a staple. I'm sick of tired of having my Ziploc bags for lunch being used for my games. I'm not really sick of tired, but it's annoying. Um, but that's great. That's great to think of something like that. That's small. The small things, oh, I like these. The uh, kind of fantasy flight type thing going on with the extra small cards for minions and, and bad guys. Because these cards can get all over your table. You need a big table for this kind of stuff. Small, small deck, which is cool. And you got the dice. Very simple game. Very simple game. Uh, like, for example, if you need to kill something and they have an armor one, you got to beat a one. Roll some dice, and if you get two stars, you beat that one. If you match it, you lose. So, pretty simple system. Um, it goes blue dice are like mundane. Red is the next one, next powerful, and green is the most powerful. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, pretty quick. And then we have half this box. Half the box is this, which I'm assuming, <laughs> and I'm hoping, it are the, all the models. Because if it's not, then I uh, won't do it. And they are, of course. Alright, so, I like it. We have... The grays looks like some treasure chests. It looks like you can get pets as well, uh, like companion pets to help you attack. Looks like there's a chicken. Yep, a chicken, a baby dragon, a baby pig, an, another baby pig, a cat. One well, one looks like a pig. One looks like a, a a grumpy pig. And then you have a dog. I'll take some out. Show you later. Then we have some bad guys. Looks like some angry squirrels, or warrior squirrels. They got some big tails with some spikes on it. Rabbit squirrels? Was it rabbit squirrels? We got some of the characters here. Let's pop one of these open. Alright, we got a knight. Looks like he's pretty cool. He's got a lance. Let me, uh, hmm. Let me see if I can block this out for you guys real quick. Again, I don't edit any of my stuff, so don't, don't even bother telling me that I saw it. Okay. Let me, uh, block. So we got a little uh, knight with like a lance. It didn't focus, but whatever. We got a, it looks like, uh, I think this is a dryad character. Just like half deer, or half uh, whatever dryads are, or whatever they are, satyrs, half satyr, I don't know. We have a cool, like, steampunk looking soldier female character. She's cool, I like that. This looks like a elf that kind of maybe is an alchemist. It's got some potions with her. She's cool looking. I like that. One of the expansions was a uh, very Nintendo-esque uh, type expansion. It had like you know Princess Peach character, um, but it had uh, like a Link type character. Um, then we have like a a Highwayman, French Highwayman with his French Highwayman uh, cloak with his uh, collar up and hat and a crossbow. He's cool looking too. I like him. Those are the characters that come with this game, but again, you'll have all the other characters if you had Super Dungeon Explorer and all those uh, different expansions, because you'd be able to use the updated characters for that. All right, well. so let's do uh, some of the bad guys. I'm trying to find the Forgotten King. I think I found the bag here. Some of the b the big baddies, not the smaller guys. There's some piranha plant looking characters in there. You got those squirrels. And there's some spiders. Here's a boo booty. So it's kind of like a uh, treasure trap. Um, basically there are different uh, uh, treasure chests around the map which give you the extra special loot uh, and uh, sometimes if you draw the special loot card it might be a boot booty which is a treasure trap. All right.
This is cool guy. I don't know what he is. Let me fix his club here, a little bent. Everything's pre-constructed in this one, so you don't have to glue anything, which is nice. Looks kind of like a giant badger slash werewolf type character. He's pretty, pretty cool looking. Another mini boss. He looks like a ent or kind of like a beefier ent from Lord of the Rings. Giant tree type character, dryad maybe. All of the above, whatever. Some more boo booties. Of course, boo booties. Three boo booties. This is the Forgotten King. He's pretty cool. Very like uh, almost Secret of Nim type evil rat looking character. Yeah, bringing back the old movie, Secret of Nim. All right. Let's put these guys away. They did a, a better job, I think, than this one. I mean, Super Dungeon Explorer has been out for a long time, so uh, kudos on them for really stepping up on their characters in this game. So that is that. That comes with the game. There's some other bags and whatnot. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so Boo Booty Extra Box. I also got, um, which is sad because it comes in Wave 2, which I believe is next month or something like that. Uh, the Super Dungeon, or not Super Dungeon Explorer, excuse me. The Kingdom Death Monster crossover for Super Dungeon Explorer. So it's the Twilight Knight Super Dungeon Explorer model. Uh, the Twilight Knight is part of the Kingdom Death Monster. And, uh, Kingdom Death Monster does crossovers for different games, so they did one for Super Dungeon Explorer, and I wanted that character because like they are sold out of the actual Twilight Knight character for Kingdom Death, which I really wanted, did not get to get. So next best thing, Super Dungeon Explorer Twilight Knight. So this is cool. It's just part of the thing. I might give it to my kid if I ever have one. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a Crystallia Adventures coloring book, which is kind of neat. It's a little, I mean, the art is amazing in it for, you know, the chibi style art. So I'm going to keep that, and I don't know if I want to part with not, with letting a kid draw, draw in it. Yeah, I probably will. But anyway, so now you have the update characters. This is updated classic characters like the Claw Tribe Barbarian which comes with Super Dungeon Explorer Core. Looks like some maybe updated loot or extra loot cards which are the ones that come in treasure chests or drop off mini bosses. So that's cool. More updates looks like for the Core and more character updates. Angry Bear is the morph or the ch changed form of one of the druid characters he turns into a giant bear again more this is starfire from the core and looks like more updates i'm sure that's probably all the updates from all the old um and it probably gives you the cooperative adventure the cooperative uh Arcade mode for the cooperative version. I'm sure the stats are updated as well. We'll find out. And then this is looks like this is part of the expansion from the old cores. Oh, that was that that happened. All right, so that was that. What do we have here? Okay, some more expansion guys from the old core. And it looks like some other characters that I have not seen before. So some extra goodies. Um, this is one. This is weird. It is one bag for one character. Literally, it's a big bag. It looks like a voodoo priest. Am I saying priestess or priest? It is a priest. One bag. Don't know. Uh, some more uh, models for expansion. Looks 
think these are all models for expansion. No, it's not. This looks like some trolls of some sort for something. Which is cool. I'm not gonna argue. Cool, some more minion car mini cards, looks like, which is cool. Got a Starfire on there. But it also says Never Lost Cola, which I believe is a character that you can get. Not with a core, I think it's just a separate model. Here we go. Here are the uh, little tokens, extra heart tokens and potion tokens, which I like because they look 3D, so you can kind of just place it on your character, which is kind of neat. This is heavy. This is, uh, I think this is just a tracker for where you are on, in the power gauge and whatnot. It's actually thick, and it's actually really, actually nice. It's heavy. And then the, uh, that one character. Let's crack this open, because I see a pink character, and pink characters are usually... When I got my pink characters, they were bad guys. Um, like, the extra mini bosses you could uh, insert into core. Um, so let's cut this open and see, because I see some gray models and some... Oh, okay, so this is the Candy, I think, Candy and Cola character. She's kind of like Ninja in this, and looks like... Um, some kind of item on the ground with some foxtails. I believe that's some thing. Looks like a cool character here. She's got a bastard sword, like a, or well, a big two-handed sword swinging. I don't know what these characters are. I don't recall seeing them, but okay. Oh, this character is cool. This is like the uh, three foxtail uh, little mini fox with a giant. Um, Ninja Star, which is cool. I believe the uh, triple foxtail is a Asian, I'm not going to say China or Jap Japan. I don't remember which one it is. I don't want to offend or whatever. I'm, I don't care if I'm offensive, but if I can help, I'll try not to be. But I believe the uh, that was like a magical creature who could shapeshift, but took the form of a fox normally with three tails. Cool little character with a leak. A the vegetable. Um, looks like the same character as with the sword, but standing kind of a, in a pose. Um, this guy is cool. I don't know who he is, but he looks kind of like a bard with a sword. He's a little bent, but uh, he's got a loot on his back. Is it a loot? I don't know. Um, and then you got more little guys with leaks. Guess they're bad guys. Little mini annoying bad guys. Here we got a heart, and then we have a potion token, which is cool, like the 3D uh, uh, models that you can put on your 2D cards. So I like that. And then looks like there's possibly something under there. Was nothing under there. That was that was it. I guess. I don't know why they use such a big box for, uh, I guess maybe for stacking on your shelf because they are the same size, so maybe just stacking wise. But literally, all that stuff was, the cards were in here, and then the models were in here, so. Um, hmm. I guess that is it for the unboxing. I don't know who, what these characters are, but I'm not going to argue. I think they're just special characters. Looks like a like the bard with a sword. He's pretty cool looking. And then you got the candy and cola. Candy is this character with the uh, katanas. She comes in different forms, I believe, for Super Dungeon form, uh, Super Dungeon Explorer. And then cola is usually the pet that she has. Um, I guess he is coming in fox form with a ninja star. And I don't know what this is, but I guess maybe he changes from this or he can turn into this because you need a token for it, apparently. And then, cool character, but I don't, I don't know who it is with the sword. I, I'm assuming the card is in here somewhere. So that's that's the unboxing, guys. Um, nothing too uh, grandiose. Let's see if I can uh, open up one of these cards for you. Let's find this 
never lost cola. I think the never lost cola is the card for that actual box. We'll find out. It's one of the small cards. It looks like it is actually the token. It's like a little mini fox. Mini fox tails with a token. Never lost cola is actually a small mass uh, small master gains luck. When drawing explore cards, the party may draw two cards and choose one. But it has movement seven, one attack button. One blue, one red strength, two armor. Uh, that is that character. It's, uh, yeah. Oops. That character. And then it tells you what luck does. So that's cool. I'll have to find uh, what the other cards do. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's that. Um, and I might be able to get some, not today. Uh, I have a wedding in like two months, so kind of time's a little tight, and uh, probably won't be able to get a video of how to play, but hope you guys uh, enjoyed the unboxing of these things. You can definitely look up these, these models and stuff like that online. Uh, Alright guys, take care.